Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video we are going to be making this little guy. He is mostly no so um, from his head to his nose to his arms to his body his feet and toes and then we'll have to add whatever you decide for details on the face so the little fin the um, chains around his face and if you want to give him little ears this is a crochet along so i will be doing every stitch with you if you get lost or i say something you don't understand there will be a little drop down for the first 30 seconds of each row with the pattern instructions if you enjoy my videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Not only does that help me out, but every time I load a new video, you will be notified. And feel free to give the video a like, a comment, a share. Okay, I think that's everything. So grab your yarn and let's get started. Okay, we're going to start with the arms and we're going to make a knot with a loop on the end as if you're going to make a chain or you can start however you're used to starting as long as you have the same amount of stitches in row one. And if you're going to do it my way, you're going to insert your hook, grab your yarn, pull through that loop, and chain one and remember that does not count as a stitch that just attaches your yarn to your loop and for row one we're going to do six single crochets into the loop so one two three whoops four, five, and six. Grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And for row two, we're gonna do six increases. So that's two single crochets in every stitch all the way around for a total of 12. So increase, one and two. Increase, three and four. Increase, five and six increase seven and eight increase nine and ten and increase eleven and twelve for rows three and four we're just going to do 12 single crochets all the way around and I'm going to do them consecutively. So two rows of 12 is 24 and I'm just going to flip my marker when I hit a set of 12. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12. Flip your marker if you're using one. Keep on counting. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Oh, for row five, we're going to do a puff stitch of four and then 11 single crochets the rest of the way around for a total of 12. So for your puff stitch, in that first stitch, you're going to yarn over, go in the next stitch, grab your yarn, pull up and through, that's once, yarn over, go in that same stitch, grab your yarn, pull through, that's twice, yarn over, go in that same stitch, grab your yarn, pull up and through, that's three times, now one more time, yarn over, go in that same stitch, grab your yarn, pull up and through. And now you're going to grab your yarn and you're going to go through all of the loops on your hook. And if you don't do it right the first time, you're better off taking this all out and redoing it um, instead of trying to find where you grabbed the wrong little chunk of yarn. Okay, so now we have 11 single crochets and I'm going to um, count this as one and then keep on counting to 12. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve in that last stitch. Row six, you're going to do one single crochet, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 12. So starting in your next stitch, one single crochet, and then a decrease, and make sure you're going in the right stitches, so right there where your thumb is. So decrease for two, single crochet, that's three, decrease, four, five, and a decrease for six, seven, and a decrease for eight. Row 7 to 15, we're just going to do 8 single crochets all the way around. And that is a total of 72 stitches. 8 times 9, 72. So I'm just going to count to 72. And every time I hit a set of 8, I'm going to flip my marker. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, whoops, 6, 7, 8, I flip my marker, keep on counting, 
nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, flip the marker, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, flip your marker, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Flip your marker. 37, 38, 39, 40, flip your marker, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, flip your marker, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, flip your marker, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, flip your marker, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72. And then we'll add some stuffing. And I'm only going to add a little bit in the hand part. Um, you can decide if you want to put it up in the arm. If you're on your first one, um, just take enough for both so that you have them kind of even. And just kind of make sure you're putting the same amount in each one. Get rid of your stitch marker if you used one. 
And then you're just going to stuff that down inside all the way to the bottom. I'm going for kind of a round hand. If you want a flat hand, don't put quite as much down in the very bottom. I made a mistake and cut mine, so you should still have yours attached. So once you have whatever stuffing you want in your arm, you're going to put three single crochets across the top. So you're going to fold it. You're going to go in the front side. And then you're going to go in the back side. If I can get... So just like that, you're through, through both of the V's on each side, front and back. Grab your yarn, pull it if it's a little loose, and then just finish your single crochet. And then do your second one. And then your third one. Make sure you get through both sides, front and back under both sides of that V. Finish your single crochet and then tie it off, leaving a little bit of a tail. Even though we're not sewing these on, there is something I do do with them at the end to kind of make them a little um, tighter. So if you've just done your first arm, I will put a little timestamp in the next frame of the video so you can go back and do your second arm. If you have finished both arms, just keep on watching and we will do the next part. Now we're going to do the three little pieces that hang down from his nose. So you're just going to make a knot with a loop on the end like we did for the arm. Or however you start. So insert your hook, grab your yarn, chain one. Remember that does not count as a stitch. That is just um, to attach your yarn to your loop. And for round one, we're going to put four single crochets into the loop. One. Two. Three. And four. Grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And if you don't need one, it'll be a lot easier to do this little piece. I'm just going to use one so you can see what I'm doing. And for row two, you're going to do one single crochet, one increase, repeat that around for a total of six. That first one might be tricky. Just take your time. Make sure you're going in the right stitches. One. Get over into the next stitch and you're going to increase. Two and three. Move it over for your next single crochet. Four. And an increase in the last one, five, and six. For rows three to 11, it's just gonna be six single crochets all the way around. And I'm gonna do that consecutively. So six, and that's nine rows. So six times nine is 54. So I'm just going to do 54 single crochets and flip my marker every time I hit a set of six. So one, two, three, four, 
three. Four, five, six, flip your marker and keep on counting, seven, eight, nine, Ten, eleven, twelve. Flip your marker if you're using one. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Flip your marker. Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Twenty-three, twenty-four. Flip your marker. Twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. 30, flip your marker, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, flip your marker, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, Flip your marker, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, Flip your marker, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. Now, if you're on your first or your second one, you are just going to um, do a slip stitch in that next stitch, um, tie it off, and leave yourself a little bit of a tail. And there will be a screenshot in the next frame with a timestamp. So you can go do what, however many you have left. If you're on your third one, like I am right now, just keep on watching and join me in the next part. Okay, now we're going to join all three pieces. 
and you should have um, your third one looking like this. You've still got it attached. Grab your next piece of the nose. Whoopsie. And right behind where you slip stitch, so you slip stitch right here. Just behind the stitch, behind that, you're going to go one over, and that's where you're going to join it. Pull it nice and tight. Grab your yarn, and you're going to make one single crochet. And then you're going to go around that stitch where you slip stitched, and you're going to make your second single crochet. And you're going to have six total, so that was two, three, four, five, and six. Now grab your next piece. And again, you're going to go behind where you slip stitched and into that stitch behind it. You're going to do one single crochet. You're going to go around that stitch into the next stitch and do a second single crochet. And again, there's going to be six all the way around. So that was one and two. So three, four, five, six. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now you're going to come all the way over to your first um, one that you started with and you're going to see right here that's where your last stitch was in the round on that one so you're going to go over one more stitch and then you're going to do six single crochets into this last one so one two three four, five, and six. And that'll be the stitch that you um, went over and crossed over to the other side. So it should look like this. My lighting's good. So that's your last stitch of the round. And this was your first stitch where you joined them. Okay, so this was your last stitch of row 12 that you just did right here. And this is the first stitch of row 12. So your first stitch for row 13 is going to be right in here in between the two. So in between there and in between there, you're going to go down in here. And I'm going to grab a stitch marker. So make sure you're down in that. You'll probably be a big hole, just like me, in front of that first stitch of the last row. And we're going to, for row 13, we're going to do three decreases, six single crochets, and then three decreases for a total of 12. So our first stitch is a decrease. So that's one decrease. Two decreases, and go nice and slow. Make sure you're getting in all the right stitches. Three decreases, and now you're going to do six single crochets, and make sure you're getting down in the next stitch. One. Make sure you're in the next stitch, two, three, 
three, four, five, and six. Make sure you don't skip this stitch. Now we're going to do our three decreases on this side. So one decrease. Two decreases. And three decreases. And that should be bring us right back to our stitch marker. Rows 14 and 15, we are just going to do 12 single crochets all the way around, and I'm going to do them consecutively, so two rows of 12 is 24. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 12. Flip your marker and keep on counting. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. And then in the next stitch, you're just going to slip stitch. Tie that off and leave yourself a little bit of a tail. I guess that's the front. And I'm pretty sure this was the hardest part. So if you've got this done with me now, it should be smooth sailing. So let's just put that to the side and then we'll start on the next part. All right, now we'll start on the head. And you're just gonna make your knot with the loop on the end or however you've been starting. Insert your hook, grab your yarn and pull it through the loop. Do your chain one and remember that does not count as a stitch. That is just to attach your yarn to the loop. And for round one, you're gonna do six single crochets into the loop. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Grab a stitch marker if you're using one 
And for row two, you're gonna do six increases. So that's two single crochets in each stitch around for a total of 12. So increase one and two. Increase three and four. Increase five and six. Increase seven and eight. Increase nine and ten. And our last increase, 11 and 12. Row three, you're gonna do one single crochet, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. So one single crochet and an increase for two and three. And just repeat that all the way around. So four, increase, five and six, seven, increase, eight and nine, ten, increase, 11 and 12, 13, increase, 14 and 15, 16, and increase, 17 and 18. Row four, you're gonna do two single crochets and an increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. One, two, and an increase, three and four. And just repeat that all the way around, five, six, and an increase, seven and eight, nine, ten, and an increase, eleven and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and an increase, 15 and 16, 17, 18, and an increase, 19 and 20, 21, 22, and an increase, 23 and 24. Row five, you're gonna do three single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. So one, two, three, and increase, four and five. And just repeat that sequence, six, seven, eight, and an increase, nine and 10, 11, 12, 13, and an increase, 14 and 15. 16, 17, 18, and an increase, 
19 and 20. 21, 22, 23, and an increase, 24 and 25. 26, 27, 28, and an increase, 29 and 30. Row six, you're gonna do four single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 36. One, two, three, four, whoops, and an increase, five and six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and an increase. Eleven and twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen and an increase, 17 and 18. 19, 20, 21, 22, and an increase, 23 and 24. 25, 26, 27, 28, and an increase, 29 and 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, and an increase, 35 and 36. Row seven, you're gonna do five single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 42. One, two, three, four, Five and an increase, six and seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and an increase, thirteen and fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and an increase, 20 and 21. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and an increase, 27 and 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and an increase, 34 and 35. 36, 37, 
39, 40, and an increase, 41, and 42. Row eight, we're gonna do six single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 48. One, two, three, four, five, six, and an increase, seven and eight. And just repeat that all the way around. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and an increase. 15 and 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and an increase, 23 and 24. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and an increase, 31 and 32. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, and an increase, 39 and 40. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, and an increase, 47 and 48. Rows nine and 10, we're just gonna do 48 single crochets all the way around, and I'm gonna do that consecutively. So two rows of 48 is 48 times two, which is 96, and I'm just gonna flip my marker when I get finished my first round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 
35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, and I'm going to flip my marker and continue for the second row of 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, and 96. Okay, for the next row, you're going to need to grab your little piece you made for the nose. Before you do that, um, I used these little strings here are the ends, are these ends. So if you want to have these little strings kind of hanging out too to add to your your guy's nose, before we add it to the head, we're just going to put them through and out of our way. And I can't remember exactly what I did, but I think I took whatever leg or whatever no nostril piece it was, and then I put it through somewhere in the middle, just like that. So if this was the string, I just went in the middle there, and we'll pull that out. You could put them all through the big hole, but if you put them through the... If you put them through, um, like right where they joined, kind of right in the middle there, then that way they're not all. I can't. Oh, that's this one. So just just in under the first row there, and one more. And if you're wondering why or mine are twisty, that's purely by accident. This is, I actually made this guy about six months ago with this color. And then I changed what I wanted to do. 
So I undid him after I did the green one so that I could still have this kind of grayish purple color one. And then I just, for now, trimmed them just like a little bit, about an inch or two below, just in case you need some of this for later, but you should probably be okay. Okay, so to begin row 11, you're gonna do 20 single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Now grab your nose, and what you want is to have. So if your work's facing you, the right side or the right side, um, fold it so that you have, these two will be on the bottom and then this one will be on the top. And you wanna have six single crochets on this side and six on this side. So just about half here, just fold it in half so it looks kinda of even and Flip it around. So now you have the two um, bottom pieces facing you. And right in this stitch on the very edge, you're gonna start your, your first single crochet through the nose and through the body in the next stitch. And you're only going through the, the one layer. You're not going through this piece down here, just this front piece. And you're gonna do six single crochets. So this will be two through the nose and the body. This will be three through the nose and the body. This will be four through the nose and the body. This will be five through the nose and the body. And then we have our sixth one through the nose and the body. And now starting in the next stitch, we should have 22 single crochets left to get all the way back. So make sure you start in the right stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. 
And now we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to do 20 uh, single crochets around. Then we're going to do in the six single crochets on the bottom of the nose. And then we're going to do 22 um, around to the other side. So 20 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, 19 and 20. And now you're going to find your first stitch on the nose. So this was the stitch um, from your last row. So this next stitch is the stitch you're going to be going into right here. And you're going to do six single crochets across. One. two and when you get to your knot like I am make sure you go all the way across and you don't put a stitch where you slip stitch there so this is you're behind this stitch and you want to go all the way over so you're behind this stitch so you're right here and you want to go here what was that one two three for me you might have yours in a different spot Just however you attach the other side. Just make sure you're not adding a stitch there. So that was three, four, five, and six. And now you're going to go back into the head out of the nose. So. You just want to find, so that was the nose, right here, I think. Right behind this stitch right there. Because this stitch goes into there, so this is your next stitch. And you should have 22. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. And if you don't have 22 on this side, you've probably missed or Put an extra stitch in the wrong place if you you can either go back and redo it but if you feel like it looks okay and there's no holes just do a decrease or an increase on this last stitch so you you total 20 stitches from the nose to your stitch marker row 13 we're just going to do 48 single crochets all the way around one Two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, just watch where you go in here, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, and 48. So you should have something that looks a little bit like this now. Okay. Row 14. We're going to do six single crochets, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 42. One, two, three, four, five, Six and a decrease for seven. And we're just going to repeat that same sequence. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and a decrease for 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and a decrease for 21. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and a decrease for 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and a decrease for 35, 36, 37, 38, 
41, and a decrease for 42. Row 15, you're going to do five single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 36. One, two, three, four, five, and a decrease for six. And just continue around. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve. Thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, and a decrease for 18. Whoopsie, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and a decrease for 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and a decrease for 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and a decrease for 36. Row 16, you're going to do four single crochets, one decrease, Repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. One, two, three, four, and a decrease for five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and a decrease for 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, and a decrease for 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, and a decrease for 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, and a decrease for 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and a decrease for 30. Row 17, we're going to do Three single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. One, two, three, and a decrease 
four, four. Five, six, seven, and a decrease for eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and a decrease for sixteen. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and a decrease for twenty. 21, 22, 23, and a decrease for 24. Row 18, you're going to do two single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. One. Two and decrease for three, four, five, and a decrease for six. Sorry, I almost lost count there. Seven. Eight and a decrease for nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and a decrease for fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, and a decrease for eighteen. Okay, now we're going to add the arms, but you just want to double check in case our stitch markers are not in the same place. You want to um, fold your head kind of in half. So I've pushed mine inside, folded like this, and you want to have your nose in the center. And then you want to look at these stitches and just kind of line them up so they're even with the nose. And if you feel like they're even, we're going to do um, a first batch of stitches, then we're going to do three and then we're going to do, what do I have here? Five. I have five in the front. And then we're going to do three and then whatever's left over for the other arm over here. So find a stitch. It's kind of on the side. That'll be your middle stitch for your arm. And since your arm is three single crochets, you're going to go back one stitch. And that is where your stitch is going to start for your arm. So if you want to just put a little piece in there. And you may have to do this another time if you don't quite have it centered. But you're better off redoing this row than getting all the way done and thinking, geez, my arms are kind of off set a little bit. Okay, so I think I should have five. One, two, three, four, five. You may have a different number. Do not worry about that. As long as your arms are centered. 
So I'm going to do five single crochets. Oops, I didn't flip my marker. One. Two, three, four, five, and that brings me up to where I wanted my arm to start. So I'm going to take that out. Whoopsie. Keep bumping everything. Grab your arm, and this will be the back. So you want your thumb and your string to be facing the front. And you're going to go in that first single crochet of the arm and the next single crochet of the head. So just like you did the nose, make sure you're in the right stitch. And so that's one single crochet. And then you're going to do a second single crochet through the arm and the body. And then you're going to do a third single crochet through the arm and the next stitch of the body. Now you should have five single crochets that go across. One, two, three, four, five, and just double check. I think I'm going to add a sixth one. So that's what I usually do between the arms. So six, and then grab your other arm. Oh, where did I put him? There it is. So this time you want, again, your thumb and your string facing the front. And you're going to go through the first single crochet of the arm. And the next single crochet of the body. If that string would stay out of my way. So one, and then through the second single crochet and the next stitch in the body. And then the last third stitch and the body. And then we should have one stitch left over to finish our row. For a total of 18 stitches. So we went five, three, six, three, one. And you can just double check again that that's in the center. Your arms are good. They're pretty close, I think. Okay, so now we'll do row 20. And that'll be two single crochets one increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. One, two, and an increase, three and four. And just repeat that around. Five, six, and an increase, seven and eight. And don't go over your strings for your arms. You want them on the outside of your um, little guy. What was that? Eight, nine, ten, and an increase, eleven and twelve. Thirteen, Man, I'm hitting everything here. 
So that was 14 and an increase. 15 and 16. Seventeen, eighteen, and an increase. Nineteen and twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. And an increase. Twenty-three and twenty-four. Rows 21 and 22 are just going to be um, 24 single crochets all the way around. And I'm going to do that consecutively, so I'm just going to do um, count to 48. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, flip your marker if you're using one and keep on counting, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, and 48. Row 23 is going to be three single crochets, one increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. One, two, three, and an increase, four and five. Six, seven, eight and an increase nine and ten eleven twelve thirteen and an increase fourteen and fifteen sixteen seventeen 18 and an increase 19 and 20 21 22 
23 and an increase, 24 and 25. 26, 27, 28 and an increase, 29 and 30. Row 24 is just going to be 30 single crochets all the way around. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Row 25, you're going to do four single crochets, one increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 36. One, two, three, four and an increase, five and six, seven, eight, nine, ten and an increase, eleven and twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, 16, and an increase, 17 and 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and an increase, 23 and 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and an increase, 29 and 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and an increase, 35 and 36. Rows 26 and 27 are just 36 single crochets all the way around. And I'm gonna do those two rows consecutively. So 36 times two is 72. I'm just going to flip my marker after the first row of 36. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, flip your marker, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72. Okay, row 28 is four single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. So one, two, three, four, and a decrease for five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and a decrease for ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And a decrease for 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and a decrease for 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and a decrease for 25, 
26, 27, 28, 29, and a decrease for 30. Row 29 is just 30 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Row 30 is going to be three single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. One, two, three, and a decrease for four. Five, six, seven, and a decrease for eight. Nine, 10, 11, and a decrease for 12, 13, 14, 15, and a decrease for 16, 17, 18, 19, and a decrease for 20, 21, 22, 23, and a decrease for 24. Okay, before we go any further, we're going to add the eyes. And we're going to go down between rows 11 and 12 and just over a little bit from the nose. So you're going to start counting where you made your first loop as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So just here between 11 and 12, uh, probably the second hole over. You'll know once you get your eye in there. You want it to fit right alongside the nose, but you don't want it to like be pinching the nose. One, two, I must have a really tight, just 
stitch today. And then put your back, whoop, I just dropped my back somewhere in a bucket of crocheted water balloons. Well, that's going to be fun to find. So get that snapped in there nice and good. And then get your second eye. And I'm just going to count down 12 again just in case I don't get it straight across. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So between eleven and twelve. And two over. That seems like it's the wrong row. Maybe not. Okay. I'm gonna just double check before I put my back on so they're both up yep they're both even up along that row okay and it took me a while but I did find my back so squeeze that together listen for them clicks now you're gonna add some stuffing And when you're stuffing this guy, you want his head to kind of be a little flatter on the top and come out at the side. So I'm going to put a little bit up on the top and then I'm going to start going, pushing out to the sides as I stuff it. Because we want him to have kind of a shorter, flatter head. So we'll see how I'm pushing that out so it's it's not roundish as much. And you might have to play with it a little bit. Be careful when you are stuffing that you're not opening up your stitches around the neck because you're stuffing it too full. Especially when you do the front, like I just did. You might have to play with your eyes after. I'm starting to make him look more like a bug of some sort. Maybe a little bit more in the back. Although he is pretty full. And also watch that you're not making him really lopsided as you're doing this. So just kind of check all directions. I think he's pretty good. So I'm going to put a tiny little bit in his body, but not too much because you don't want to make it harder for you to do the legs. The more stuffing you have in, the harder it is to do the legs. Like that might be too much right now because you can always add it later. Okay, now for the legs, you want to make sure that it's nice and flat and even. And look, see, I did a little bit too much stuff in there, but luckily his nose is going to cover that. Flatten him out nice and even with the arms. And you want to have 12 stitches on each side. So I'm just going to fold him flat like this for a minute. And just count my front stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I am happy with that. So starting over on this side where you're crocheting, you'll be crocheting this way. 
You're going to count over six stitches for the first leg. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you're going to go into that seventh stitch, which will be the start of the second leg. And you're going to put a stitch marker in there. And I'm just going to use a piece of yarn. Maybe. Just grabbed a different one, I guess. There we go. And then we're going to count over 12 stitches, starting with this stitch you just marked, so we can mark off the back of this second leg. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 and you'll put your marker in that 12th stitch so now you'll have 12 stitches on one side and 12 stitches on the other side and then we're just going to tie this and if you've done some of my other ones like this you probably don't need to tie it just mark it but i for the video if you've never um, followed me doing it this way. This way you will be able to see what I'm doing and where all our, <clears throat> excuse me, markers are. So we're going to go around on this side and start this leg and we don't want to touch any of these 12 stitches when we're doing this leg. Okay, to begin the leg, we're going to do six rows of 12 single crochets. Um, and I'm just going to do those consecutively. So that six times 12 is 72. And I'm just going to flip my marker every time I hit a set of 12. All right, so one, two, Three, four, five. Now I'm ready to go to the other side. Your count might be different. When you get to this stitch marker for the second leg, you don't go in that stitch. You flip it around. You go past this stitch that you have marked. I think I have it through with something else. So you don't go on that stitch, you go over one more. I think I was at five, so this is six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, 12. So that was our first row of six and I'm just gonna keep on counting. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, make sure you're getting all the stitches around there, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, flip your marker, 25, and, and take your time on this. I know it's kind of frustrating and tricky, so if you can't keep up, just pause it or let me go on or whatever and pause it at some point. So this is row three here, so that's 25, 
26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, I think I miscounted here. I missed a stitch. I should be at 36, I think. Yep, I did miss a stitch. So I'm at 36 now, and I'm flipping my stitch marker. Thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, Flip your marker, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, Sixty-nine, seventy, seventy-one, and seventy-two. Okay, for row seven, you're going to do one single crochet, one increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of eighteen. So one and an increase, two and three, four, increase, five and six, seven, increase, eight and nine. Ten increase eleven and twelve thirteen increase fourteen and fifteen sixteen and an increase seventeen and eighteen. Row eight is going to be 18 stitches, but because we're going to put toes across, three toes, we're going to take our guy, so he's facing us, we're going to flatten out his leg, 
and just kind of guesstimate where his middle toe is going to be. And I'm going to guess about right here-ish. And then you're going to go, so this will be a toe, a space, and a toe. So on this, um, so it's the second one from where you have your needle in. You're going to put a little marker. And that is going to be where your toe is going to start. So it'll be toe, space, toe, space, toe. So we're just going to single crochet until we get to that marker and put our toe in there. And it might be different for you than what I have, so don't worry about that as long as it's your first toe starts in the marker. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And the next stitch I have marked, so that's where we're going to start our first toe. And it's going to be a double crochet cluster of three. And that might be the wrong stitch, but I will show you um, how I make it. So yarn over into that next stitch. You'll grab your yarn, pull up and through. So you have three loops on your hook. You'll grab your yarn again, and you're going to go through the first two loops, but leave that third one on there. So you're left with two loops. So that's one, and you're going to do that again. Yarn over into that same stitch, grab your yarn, pull up and through, grab your yarn again, and you're going to go through the first two loops and leave the last two loops. And now you have three loops on your hook, and that's twice. We're going to do it one more time. Yarn over into that same stitch, grab your yarn, pull up and through, now you have five loops on your hook. Grab your yarn, go through the first two. You have four loops on the hook, and that was your third one. So now we are gonna take our string and pull it through all four of those loops. So there's our one little cluster. Now we're gonna do one single crochet in the next stitch and make sure you're not skipping a stitch. You might have to push the toe out with your finger. Now you're going to do another one, and I'm going to do that one faster. Um, if you didn't get it the first time, just go back and watch the first one. So one time. Two times. And three times. And then pull through all. And you're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch. And then you're going to do one more cluster of three in the next stitch. So once. Twice. And three times. Then pull through all the loops. And I have one more single crochet there. And your toes should look like this now. And we're just going to pull that for now and do the other leg. And then we'll stuff them together and come back and finish the bottom of this. So we have two rows left to finish this foot. And I believe that there are 12 decreases and six single crochets. And I've measured how much yarn it takes me to do a single crochet. And it's about one wrap around my finger. So 
we have what 18 stitches left so I'm gonna just to be safe put two fingers out and then I'm gonna wrap it around 18 times one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen and that'll give me more than enough to finish off that foot you can still leave a little tail after that if you want and then you're just going to tuck that down inside all the way out of your way and then you're going to fold this down also out of your way and hopefully you have an extra needle or a crochet hook even a thinner one and we're just going to pin that down so it's not pop popped up in our way as we're going around it's going to be a little awkward but it won't be near as bad as how i used to do it where this was already finished and stuffed and it was just a nightmare um most of you or some of you will agree with me on that one, I'm sure. Okay, so grab your yarn and you're going to make a knot with the loop on the end. This time leave yourself a bit of a tail because we're going to use that to sew up the little hole that gets left there between the legs. We're going to start in the back where we marked our stitch. So this stitch is part of our other leg there. This is our next stitch on our second leg. And I'm going to pull most of that out. Just so you can see my last stitch when I get there. Sorry, I'm out of frame. Oops. Oh my goodness. Okay. So insert in that first stitch and you're going to pull your loop through and just make one chain. This doesn't count as your first stitch. So we are now going to do our, what, six rows is it? Our six rows of, whoops, I pulled that out. Six rows of um, 12 single crochets. So where we just attached our yarn, we're going to do one single crochet. And then we're just going to go around like we did the other leg. Two. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, eleven, and this is where my last stitch marker would have been. Twelve. I can see that pin didn't hold nothing, did it? Try that. Okay. So now you're going to turn around to the back. Make sure you leave this string on the outside so it's easy to find. And then you're going to start your next row at that top of that first single crochet. So there's your chain one right here. And that V is the, your first single crochet. So this will be the start of row two. All right, it's hard to see what I'm doing when I'm reaching around this camera. I'm actually looking at a space about that wide between my phone and another light. 
Okay, so this will be stitch 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And remember, we're going to 72 for our six rows. Look my marker. Make sure when you do this row, you get down in that in the right next stitch. 25. 26. 27. 28. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. All right, next row, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, next row, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, This is our last row, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, and 72.
Okay, for row seven, you're gonna do one single crochet, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. One, and an increase, two and three, four, and an increase, five and six, seven, and an increase, eight and nine, ten, and an increase, eleven and twelve, Thirteen and an increase, fourteen and fifteen, sixteen and an increase, seventeen and eighteen. All right. Now you need to find the center for your toe again. So I'm going to go about right here for my middle toe. So we're going to have one single crochet and then our first toe starting about right there. So mark that off. And yours may be in a different spot. Don't worry about that. So there's going to be a total of 18 stitches. And three of them will be um, your three double cro crochet cluster stitches. So one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, and I have 13. Um, I feel like 12 is going to be the better number, but let's see. So now that you're at your marker, you are going to do your double crochet cluster of three. And again, that might not be what it's called. That's what I call it. So you're going to insert your hook, grab your yarn, go through the first two loops, and you're going to do that three times. So that was once, twice, and three times, and then grab your yarn and go through all the loops. And you're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch. Then you're going to do your next toe once, twice, and three times, and then go through all the loops. Then you have your another single crochet in the next stitch. Make sure you pop those toes out the front. And then your third toe. So once, twice. I don't know what I've done with my arms here, but I cannot not hit my camera and lights three times. Pull through all the loops. And that's kind of the end of your row. 
But I'm going to put one single crochet just to kind of... Oh yeah, there'll be a back loop one though. Shoot. Okay, I'm going to have to leave that for now. So now we're going to stuff our legs. And I made a boo-boo of Mr. Row, so I have my body mostly stuffed because I didn't increase. So you're going to take all your um, threads out. I really made a mess here. There we go. Okay, camera, what is the problem here? this light okay um so you should be stuffing while I'm fiddling around still <laughs> so you if you see I kind of push the sides out so this guy's I think gonna have a little more hips than the other one this might be the the girly girl another one might be the boy I don't know we'll see and once you get the um, the body stuffed how you want it, whether it's firm or um, more on the softer side, you'll start going up the legs. And you want your legs to be a bit firmer. I don't have a lot of faith that this is going to stand up just because how top heavy um, the nose is going to be. But if you have it a little firmer it will have a better chance of standing so once you get it stuffed you want to have it nice and flat so this bottom of the leg will be flat and get back in your stitches oh, come on light come on be my friend today. Okay, row nine, we're going to be going in the back loop. So if you've never done back loop, instead of going under the V and through, you're going to come down between the V's and then out the back. So row nine is one single crochet, one decrease, all in the back loops for a total of 12. So remember back loops. One. And a decrease. For two three and a decrease <laughs> for four Five and a decrease for six seven and a decrease for eight. Remember, all these are in the back loops. Nine and a decrease. Oops, nope. Something there we go. I believe this is a decrease for ten. Eleven and a decrease for twelve. All right. 
right now we'll go back to our regular stitches and we're going to do six decreases for row 10. This should be a little easier this time. So one decrease for row 10, not 10 stitches. It'll be six stitches. Two decreases. Three decreases, four decreases, five decreases, and six decreases. And then you're just going to single crochet in the next stitch and tie that off, leaving a little bit of a tail. And I'm going to pull that stitch marker out. Now, if you need to, you this is your last chance to add any stuffing to that leg. Um, I think I do need a little bit of stuffing. So it's a little tricky once you get down to six, but it is still doable. My little scissor trick from one of my viewers works great. I never would have thought so with the little point. You just want to tuck that kind of to the sides. There we go. And I'm going to close this one off. I don't know where my hook is. And there it is. My needle. And I just go through the top loops, or the front loops, I guess. Weave in and out. So you get all the way around. And you don't have to worry about how fancy it is because it's on the bottom. And pull that tight. Give it a little tie somewhere. And then you're going to tuck it down center and out the back. Kind of fairly close to the bottom, but you want you still need room to um, stitch your two legs together. So don't forget about that. And then you just want to pull them so they're kind of flat. Now we got to finish off the other leg. We're going to a little bit more stuffing in there. And again, we're going in the back loops. Row nine, one single crochet, one decrease for a total of 12. So down into there and get in that back loop. One. And a decrease for two. Right about now, I'm wishing I had made him sitting, so I have to do these two legs. All right, single crochet for three. Decrease for four. Remember, back loops. Five. Decrease for six. Seven. 
7, decrease for 8, oopsie daisy, Nine decrease for ten. Eleven and last decrease for twelve. And row 10, just six decreases all the way around back in the normal way under the V. So one decrease, two decreases. Three decreases, four decreases, five decreases, and six decreases. And then just slip stitch. And this end is already tied off, so you just pull that out. Decide if you need any more stuffing, and I do think I'm going to put a little bit more in. Just so these are even. Yep, those feel about right. So then we're going to thread this last string. I'll take this out of my way too. Okay, we're almost getting there now. So just in and out. Pull that tight. Tie your knot. And then down through the center and out the same spot you took your other leg string out. And then you're just going to pull them down a bit and tie them. And as you're tying them, you want to pull these so they're flat. A little bit concave is okay. Just watch you don't break your thread. And you'll tie that two or three times. Then re-thread your darning needle. Whoops, of course I lost it.
and then just go down that same hole and hide it up somewhere out the back. And then now we'll tie up this um, little hole in the front. And you're going to notice that I definitely overstuffed his body a little bit. Um, so hopefully it's not too noticeable. So all you're going to do I just need to get some light in there. So you're going to go down the one side and then the matching stitch on the other side. I'm getting stuffing in there. I don't want that. So basically the two stitches that you would have marked when you started and then the two stitches on the other side. I can't tell if you can see that or not. And you're just going to go back and forth. So now we're on this side, and then the matching stitch on this side. And we'll just go back and forth a couple of times until you think that that's closed up the hole. So I'm going to grab a little more here. And then once you're happy with it, you're just going to tie it nice and close down where you sewed the hole. Oops. Oh my gosh, when I said, a couple of people have commented on this photo already. And when I say that I'm making a mess of this video, this is what I mean. I just, nothing's going right here. Okay, and you're just going to hide that knot down back inside and out the back somewhere. Give that a cut. Let's see if he'll stand. Oh, you know, he might stand, you guys. I mean, you wouldn't want to bump him, but... <laughs> All right. Okay. What's next? I think we'll shape his face. I wasn't going to because I didn't think... It... Come on. I didn't think it actually made any difference, but when I look at this guy's head compared to this guy's head, how his eyes are... I think it does look better. I didn't think so, but... So grab a chunk of yarn in the same color you were using and thread your darning needle. I can't remember if it went together or just down. I gotta have a peek. I think I just went down. So we're going to start somewhere in the center. Well, that really doesn't look centered on the camera. Oh, there we go. And we're going to come up just kind of at a 45 degree angle from his eye. Bring about half. Most of your thread through, but leave a little bit for tying. And then you're going to come down kind of at the bottom of his eye, but go under if you can. And then you're going to go straight down and come out around where the smallest part of his neck is. Oh. 
Oh, this is so hard to pull through here. Okay. Don't pull that too tight in case you need to adjust that. And then just mark off about the same spot so you're almost coming straight down from the eye to the neck. So on this side, about straight down from the eye to the neck, so about right here. And if you have enough stitches, you want to go down, up, down, and then come up again to go to go up to this eye. But if you can't do that, just go in right here where your needle is. But I have enough stitches, so I'm going to go down and up. And then back down. And when I come up, I want to come up right under the eye to match this side of the eye. Oops, I didn't realize that was in the way. So if you can see, I'm coming under the eye and then out. See, under and then out. So you kind of got to tip your eye a bit. And then you're going to go in this diagonal stitch right here. And then out where you started. All right, I got lots of yarn. So now you're just going to kind of push the eyes down and pull your face. It's so hard to show you with this in the way. Nope. Okay, let's see. So you're going to kind of push it down and then tighten this so they come a bit together, but mostly down this way. Basically, you're just tipping the eyes in and making a little bit of a cheek here. So kind of like that. And then tie it to secure it a couple of times. And then you want to take that down through the same hole and out the back. I shouldn't be using this needle. I can't grab it. There we go. And then make sure you pull that so it's out of the hole there. Give it a cut. And then now if you see the eyes look a little better now than they did before. Okay, you're going to want to grab your pins. We're going to start with doing the little fin up over his head. And all I'm going to do, take a piece of thread you want it to go over the center of his head and kind of come to the center of his nose. And if you want to kind of line it up to do the same on the back. I only went about here, so it didn't really matter too much. And I'm just going to pin all the way, starting from about where the nose was attached. Just pick a side and kind of go straight up. And 
this is just going to help you um, have a straight line. You don't have to do every one. You could do every two, depending on how you're, uh, I don't know what you call it. Me, I couldn't find a straight line if I tried. I think that's about where I want to go to. I mean, you can go all the way down if you want. Now I'm going to get rid of this thread. Hopefully I didn't go on it. Maybe I will take a couple out there. Okay. So you should have a fairly straight line going up. And you can do this anywhere. You can keep going in other spots. Just follow the way I'm starting. I wanted to do down his arm maybe, but then I changed my mind. I thought I had enough stuff on here already. So start with a bit of a tail and make your knot with the loop on the end. And hopefully you guys can see this as I do it. So somewhere right around, kind of like where you centered it, where you stuck his eyes in. So kind of like even with that. We're just going to go down and around a row. Try not to get in the stuffing. And you want to pull that down and under to get started. And we're just going to slip stitch three times. So one. And you want to go in the same. So you, how am I going to show you this? So this is where my slip stitch was around this row right here. So I'm not going over a row. I want to go right back down in the same stitch that I came out. So I'm going around this next row. So I'm going to go back down. And do another slip stitch. I'm going to do three of them. So that's two. And then I'm going to go back down that same stitch and around the next row and do another slip stitch. So that's three. And you can do as many or as little as you want. Any combinations of slip stitches and single crochets and so on. And then I switch to um, single crochets and I'm going to do two single crochets. So one. I hope you can see this because I'm going to make it look a lot more awkward than it actually is. It's just the way my arms are right now. So, and we're going to go around the next row with another single crochet. Make sure you're staying kind of in a line. And now I'm going to switch to half double crochets and I'm going to do two of those so yarn over and down around that row grab your yarn and pull back through did I get it I think I lost it so half double crochet <laughs> This is not working out. I apologize for the messiness, but I don't think redoing it is going to make it any better. So I'm just going to truck along. And 
And I'm going to do one more half double crochet. There, that one went a little smoother. And now I'm going to switch two double crochets, but I'm going to do two in every one because because we're starting to go around the dome here, it won't really, it'll bunch up and pull too much. So you need to do a couple so that it'll smoothly go around. I chose to do two. You could do three or three if you want it to kind of ruffle a bit. I thought two was a good number to at least keep it nice and straight. So one double crochet and then another double crochet in that same round you just went under. You could do triples if you want it a little bigger. So another double crochet. And then a double crochet in that same round. And then another set of double crochets in the next round. So that's one. Oh, this will make my fingers ache. Two. Now I'm going to do a couple extra around this, um, our starting loop. This would be a good spot to put triples or trebles, whatever you want to call them, if you like them. I'm not a fan, so I'm sticking with doubles. So one and two around the front of our first loop. And then I'll be doing two around the back side of that first loop. One. And two. And then you're going to start going down. And make sure you get around the right rows. All these pins are a problem. One. Two. Oh, I know I don't have to show you all this, but I got to do it anyway, so. What's the difference? All right. <laughs> you can always fast forward it if you are ahead of me or don't want to watch this whole part. I don't know where I want to quit. I think I'll do one or two more rows and then be done. So if you want, when you get down to where you want to be done, you could also, like, maybe I did. Did I? Oh, yeah. I went back to some halves and some singles and slip stitches. So let's do... I got a half in there. No, I got a double. So let's do a half. And then a single, whoops, that's a half, whoopsie, a single, and then a couple slip stitches just to finish it off. You could keep it, um, you don't have to make it taper down either, whatever you prefer. I think I'm just going to do two slip stitches and then tie that off. Well, 
looks okay. Now we're just gonna hide these ends and I'm a tire, so I'm gonna bring them out. Actually, maybe we'll bring this one to the back and tie it up close. So come in the hole that's closest and then just come out right close to your bottom slip stitch. Oh, look at that. Oh, I forgot this was my broken needle. One second. Okay. And then we'll just tie that. And we'll take that out the bottom somewhere. I'm going to do this off camera so it doesn't take me for. Okay. All right. Well, I got this needle out. I put these in the wrong spots. They're supposed to be coming out the sides here. So we'll just move those right now. So I'm going to leave the middle one down and then the two side ones I am putting out the side where you can see them come out. So see that one's up there. So I can put that one back out there. There, then you can kind of see them instead of them being hidden. I'll have to straighten them somehow later. Oh, what a mess, what a mess, what a mess. Okay, we're going to make our few little chains right now. So if you're going to be doing this one, this one is 30. The one going around the eyes is 25. And this one was just an extra... It is 15, I believe, and I just threw it through because it was originally the one I had on my eyes. So make um, when you make your chains, leave a, chain, a long tail so that you can tuck that in or use it for sewing. Actually, I'm going to make mine a little longer because I was too short last time. So I'm going to do... Which one? We'll do the 15 for around the eyes. So you just make your knot with the loop on the end and then you're just gonna chain 15, or I mean 25. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and then tie that off with your tail. So that's around the eyes. So let's make the one that goes around the head. Leave a bit of a tail. Tie your knot with the loop on the end. And now we're going to chain 30. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 
22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And you obviously can make these any size you want. I think you might want to make a bunch of short ones, a bunch of long ones, but this is just to give you an idea. And then we might as well just make our little one I put inside. You don't need a, you don't really even need a tail on this one much. You'll probably be cutting them off. So we're just going to chain 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Oops. And then just tie that off. So this is the easiest one. Let's put it in. Here's my big needle. Is that it? So your short 15 chain, you want to thread your darning needle. And you're just going to put it through one side and out the other. Now, I didn't reinforce mine at all. You can um, use your bottom, your little bottom thread here if you want to kind of stitch it around. And I just pulled them even. No, I don't have it all the way through yet. Just pulled them so they were even and then just gave them a little clip. I let some strings hang down maybe an inch and then you'll just play with those you can put more on or less on up to you um, okay let's pin on the eye one so you want your chain of 25 Thread your darning needle. And you're going to go through one of your first slip stitches. And you need to get that knot under and around that slip stitch. Note the other side. Be gentle. You don't want to pull your, your one stitch too bad, but you want to get her through there. There we go. I think. I think I went around one. One piece doesn't want to go around. There we go. So make that about even. And you're going to need your pins again. So what I did was I went straight across first, kind of to the outside of the eye. And you're going to put a pin in there. On both sides. In the same spot. So kind of just the outside of the eye there. Then you're going to pull it down. And you're just going to line it up kind of even with the bottom of the eye. 
pull it straight down. And of course, you can do this any shape. This is just how I did it to get you going. And then you're just going to pull them down. I see I didn't get it that even, but you won't notice. You're going to pull that down under his nose and pin it. And then you can just kind of play with these a bit. Maybe you want them more scrunchy or pointy or rounded. So I'll use a pin. I'm going to bring this down just a little bit. And I'm going to bring this side down just a little bit. And then I'm going to use a pin to bring this out a little bit. Not too much. Always match each side. I should be using a different color pin, I guess. Bring this out a little bit. And maybe this up a little bit. Now you're going to pick one side or the other. I wonder if I can get all the way around. Okay. Thread your needle. You're going to start at one end and go all the way around. So you can go under and then up. And then you're going to go into the next stitch. And I'm going around um, around a row in the body and out. And then I'm going to come through my chain. You could go um, all at once. But I find that I have better control over what happens if I do it the harder way. So like you could go down, around, and then come up through the stitch, like that. But I find that I pull and bunch my stitches. Did you see that? Okay, my hand wasn't in the way. Anyway, I find that pulls my stitches too much, and then I might go online where I want my... whatever I'm sewing on. So I come up there, so I'm going to go down here and out. Just when you come out, stay underneath. And that way you won't see your stitches. And when you get to the center, I'm 
going to tie it off right here. So I'm going to put this side out because you know we need more strings hanging everywhere. And then I'm going to go back around and start again fresh with this side. I'm just going to go down and around to get that started. And then this time you've got to be a little more conscious of what you did on the other side. While I'm doing this, if you're still with me here listening, um, just remind you, don't forget to, um, if you enjoy this video or any of my other ones, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because every time I load a new video, I hit um, notify subscribers so you'll be notified of the new ones first because I always... Um, I always post here and then I wait a few days before I post anywhere else so that everybody that's um, on my subscriber list has a chance to see it first and then I'll put it on my little Facebook page so they can see it and then sometimes that same day I do post it. I only have about four groups I post in but that's enough. So if you want to be one of the first, make sure you hit that button and always click down in the description if you want to go to my Facebook page or see any of my links that I have. I don't think there'll be many on this one. It'll just be probably this and my Facebook page, craft page. Because you can send me a send me a photo of something you've made on there if you want. Okay, so sorry I didn't say what I was doing, but I tied those ends there in that same hole. And then let's go out the back. Okay. All right, so we got that. I forgot all about the arms. Have them tucked in there so nicely. So for the arms, you're just going to thread the end 
and then you're going to come down in the same stitch that your last arm stitch was in come out the back somewhere right close to the neck do the same thing on the other side kind of make sure you're in the same row so I'm in this row and then you're going to come out the same place as your other arm string give them one tie and don't um, crisscross your strings make sure you have them both the same way flip around I can't figure out why I can't get a nice flat close up anymore okay where's my strings I just had and then you're just gonna pull them and bring these arms in so just like that so wherever you want them and are happy with them then you're gonna turn it around and you're gonna tie that up tighter <clears throat> And then you're just going to thread your needle again and get rid of those. temporarily put on the other um, line so this will be our chain of 30 that we made and we're going to do the same thing we're going to stick it down in the next um, slip stitch up And you just want that to be about even. And I kept my chains facing up, but you can try it the other way. So I'm just going to pin mine up a couple of rows at about a 45 degree angle, or maybe a little more. and match that over on the other side and then we're going to go down towards the eye or like horizontal with the eye about three stitches and then another on the other side about three stitches over and then up somehow however you want to take it and I forgot to mention when we did these chains it might look kind of cool if you did a an accent color with all this stuff I was originally going to do the purple as accents on the green vice versa but then I thought I'll just keep it simple so it looks like this now and I'll let you sew that one back on and what do we have left? Just the ears, I guess. Okay, so I took the blow dryer to these little um, squiggly ends and it seemed to straighten them out pretty good. Okay, let's do the next part.
So for the ears, you're going to leave a little bit of a tail. And then you're going to make your knot with the loop on the end. So we're going to start with a chain. And we're going to chain six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then in that second loop, so this is your first one. This is your second one. So your second chain from the hook, you're going to do two slip stitches across. So one, two, and then you're going to do three single crochets across. One, two, three. Then you're going to turn your work. And we're not going to chain one. We're just going to start doing our single crochets right here in that first um, stitch. So you're going to do three single crochets across. One, two, three, and then you're going to chain three. One, two, three. Now we're going to have to turn this and start working on this side. And we're going to be going in the second um, chain from the hook again. So you just want to keep an eye on this this um, loop right here because that is where your hook is going to go in after you turn it. So turn it. And then that is where you're going to go in. You're going to do one slip stitch. And then a slip stitch in the next chain. And then three single crochets across. One, two, three. And then you're going to turn your work, no chain, and you're going to start right again in that first stitch. You're going to do three single crochets across, one, two, three, and then you're going to chain three, one, two, three. Watch that second chain from the hook as you turn. Then you're going to do one slip stitch. He doesn't want me to go in there too badly. And then a second slip stitch in the next stitch. Huh. It really is not cooperating. <laughs> there we go. And then three single crochets. One, two, three. And then you'll tie that off, leaving a little bit of a tail. So if you just finished your first one, I will put a timestamp over in the next frame so you can go back and finish your second one. And if you're done your second one, um, just keep on going and we'll pin them on and sew them on. All right, so when you're doing your ears, make sure that your starting chain is on the bottom on this side. 
and your starting chain is on the bottom on the other side. So they'll look like this. Because if you don't do it that way, you're going to have one um, with the little pokies going up and one with them going more down. It's hard to show you and, and hold on to them at the same time. but So you want the you want the flat part on the bottom or the top. Okay, so we're just going to pin them right about even where we put the eye in. So that was between row 11 and 12. And we're going to go one, two, three, four, five-ish, four or five um, holes down. And we're going to go up, I think, four rows, counting the one we're in. So one, two, three, four. So about like that is where you're going to have your ears. And then do the same thing on the other side. Make sure you have the, the right part on the bottom or the top, depending if you want them up or down. Let's see if I can show you this way now. No, I got to hold on to it. They have to be pinned on. Okay. So, right where, between 11 and 12, where we stuck the eye in. One, two, three, four, about five. And then about four rows up, including the one we were just in. One, two, three, four. Make sure they're straight. Make sure they look even to you. If one looks a little further back, move it up. I actually feel like this one needs to come up, at least on the top anyway. Let's try it out. Yeah, that should work. And do I want it on top or bottom? I think I'm going to use the bottom string and go up. So you're just going to go around one stitch. And you can get rid of that pin right away. And then go back. You're basically going through four um, stitches going up and four stitches of the ear. So we were just in that one. So I'm going to go in the next row under one stitch. And then come in the next stitch of the ear and then I'm going to go in the next row under one stitch and then through the ear Whoopsie. And then I'll go through the last fourth stitch going up and the fourth stitch of the ear. Now, if you want to go a couple of times or you want to go a couple of times like at the top and the bottom, just to help secure it a bit. That's not a bad idea. And then I'm just going to tie these together. And 
and then put them out in the middle of the head somewhere. Bring them down right close where I tied them and then out the back. And then we'll do the same thing for the other ear. We'll go down and around a stitch. Through the ear. Down around a stitch in the next row. Through the ear. Down around a stitch in the next row. Through the ear. Down around a stitch in the next row. Through the ear. And then I can't remember what I did, but I think I went down and around one more time and then tied it in the back. down in to kind of hide that and out where we took our other ones out now I don't think we need to do this because we want him to have a wide head if you want to kind of shape his head a little bit, you can pull these strings, you know, kind of see how they kind of move a bit. So now they're pointing up instead of out. And then give it another tie. Oops, I lost my... Lot there and then you'll just pull those ends out the back somewhere else And we did it. Our little guy is all finished. So I just want to thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed my video, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified every time I load a new video. And give me a like or a share or comment down below. And don't forget to check out any links in the description to my craft page if you want to share one of your projects that you've made from one of my patterns. And if you're looking for the easiest way to find more of my videos, you just click up on my picture or click my name and it will take you straight to my channel and you can click on videos.
And then I've also selected a couple videos that will show up in these four corners, especially for you. And hopefully I'll see you soon in one of my other videos. Until then, take care, be safe, and happy crocheting.